Elisa here, and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk and Tasty Treats, where I talk about something new in tech while baking a tasty treat. In today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down the Twitter tip jar feature while baking some strawberry shortcake cupcakes courtesy of Nadia Bakes. The link to the recipe is in the description below. Now let's dive in. So on May 6th, Twitter announced that they are coming out with the tip jar feature, which allows users to send money directly to their favorite tweeters. In the announcement post, which was written by a senior product manager at Twitter named Esther Crawford, it was noted that this feature was released as a response to seeing a lot of people leaving their Venmo or PayPal accounts on their profiles after having a viral tweet or if they were asking for some support from their followers. So let's see how this functionality works. Not every Twitter account has access to tip jar, but when you do find an account with it enabled, you get a little notification telling you a bit about tip jar. So for enabled accounts, you'll see a money icon in the profile and you can select what payment method you want to use for tipping. Then there is a little pop-up that warns you that tipping is subject to the third party platform's terms, which I'll touch on later. And then you're redirected to the payment app with a default of tipping $1. So far, there have been mixed reviews of the tip jar feature, but it's really hard to know exactly how this feature will play out until adoption starts kicking up a little bit more. Now, one thing that is really clear with Twitter tip jar is that it has one really big problem, and that is the fact that it's got a security concern associated with it. Turns out, if you send someone money using Twitter tip jar, there's a chance that your home and email address can be exposed, which is obviously a huge security concern for a lot of people, and also it's especially problematic for users of Twitter, which is a platform that allows you to be a lot more anonymous than other platforms. You don't even have to put in your first or last name to create your Twitter account. So the fact that using Twitter tip jar could expose personal information is a major problem with this new functionality. Now, there was a response from Twitter from a product lead, Kayvon Bekpour, who said that they can't really do much about PayPal or Venmo exposing personal details. But what they will do is add a little notification to the UI that lets people know that if they want to use the tip jar functionality, that their personal information could be exposed. Now, as a product person myself, I definitely understand how issues like this could slip through the cracks. A lot of times there's little bugs or edge cases that you never even think about as you're building a feature. But I have to admit, this was kind of a surprising slip up by Twitter. You would think that they have a pretty significant QA initiative that happens with a lot of their major releases, especially the ones that get major press announcements, but yet it turns out nobody caught this bug or problem, which is kind of surprising. My guess is that someone potentially raised this possible issue of PayPal or Venmo exposing personal information, and though it was important to the product team, they ultimately determined that because this is already a problem that exists within the Venmo PayPal products already, that it wasn't a problem that Twitter felt responsible to address. Now, this whole fiasco could have been avoidable if they maybe would have started by putting a notification in the UI, letting people know that you know, they're using the security protocols of this third party tool, but because they didn't do that, it kind of turned into a big snafu associated with this product release. So the fact that Twitter didn't openly disclose the security issue was definitely a breach in trust that users have for Twitter. But luckily for Twitter, they have a very large loyal fan base, and I don't really suspect that a lot of people will just stop using Twitter because of this security issue. So now let's move beyond the security issue with TipJar and talk about the functionality itself. Now, as a product person, I know that when you create a new feature like this, you create it because you're trying to solve a specific problem. So I wanted to take a second and think about why Twitter wanted to create this tip jar functionality and think through what problem they were trying to solve. 
Now, if I had to guess, I would say that Twitter is well aware that they are only successful because they have a lot of users that create great content on Twitter. Twitter would be nothing without its excellent content creators. And if content creators are not happy, they would probably go to another platform and provide their content there instead of on Twitter. So my guess is that Twitter is constantly aware of the power that creators have on social media, and they wanted to provide a new way for creators to start making money. Now, Twitter creators can already be monetized in a couple different ways on Twitter, but this is just a new functionality that could give them even more incentive to create great content. And this isn't the only new type of monetization that Twitter has talked about in 2021. They've also talked about introducing a subscription program called Super Follows, which would allow people to pay a monthly subscription and see exclusive content from their favorite creators. So it's a little bit unclear what percent of the subscription charges would actually go to creators, but my guess is that with that additional subscription fee, at least some of that would be benefiting the creators. So it seems like both the tip jar and the super follow functionality are both intended to benefit creators on Twitter. And again, this is a crucial problem for Twitter to solve because they need to make sure that their creators are getting adequately compensated. Otherwise, those creators are going to find a brand new platform to share their content on. Not the most beautiful looking tray of cupcakes, but I feel like these should be pretty good. So I'm really on board with the problem that Tipjar is trying to solve. However, I'm a little bit skeptical of the actual implementation of the feature. So people have to actually stop scrolling in their feed and go through PayPal in order to send creators money which is kind of a hassle and takes people out of the social media experience. Another thing that's kind of weird about it is that it expects people to pay creators directly, which isn't really a common pattern in other social media platforms. Sure, a lot of times people will indirectly pay creators by watching ads or watching sponsored content, but there's not a lot of cases where people are directly paying creators for content that they enjoy. And I'm just not so sure how many people are actually going to be paying creators for a tweet that they really like. So although I definitely understand why Twitter wanted to create this feature because it could benefit creators, I'm a little bit skeptical about just how much this could benefit creators. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because if there's a lot of adoption from this feature, maybe Twitter will implement a one-touch payment option which will make it a much easier experience for users, or maybe if there's not a lot of adoption, they'll just get rid of it. So we'll stay tuned to see what exactly happens with the Twitter tip jar. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled and I think that if it does get a lot of usage, we could see it getting added to platforms like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. So I'll definitely wanna stay tuned to see if it's something that actually does benefit creators and to see if users are actually willing to pay up for their favorite content. And now, probably most importantly, let's dive into the Strawberry Shortcake Cupcake by Nadia Bakes. Not too shabby, huh? Not as good at piping, so I added some strawberries on there for a little nice decor. And I'm really excited to take my first bite. Ooh, this looks really freaking delicious. I am so excited to jump in. This is really good. You should definitely make this recipe. Sam, come here. All right, I need you to try this. Yeah, you can squat down to my level. Hello. You like it? Thank you so much for listening. I hope it was interesting for you. We'll make sure to stay tuned on what happens with the Twitter tip jar functionality. If you like this video, please press that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you wanna hear more content from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much and I will talk to you next time. Bye friends.